really nice to be together with uh, all of you and uh, learn about uh, the different uh, experiences. I'm very much in line with uh, the two other speakers at, uh, at this uh, session because, I mean, we, we all know that we do have uh, public uh, health uh, problems in, uh, in the Western world. We know that we eat too much uh, and we forget what is good for us and uh, what we need. Um, and we can see it in uh, obesity and uh, social uh, inequality. And we have had, I think, in many countries, a lot of awareness raising campaigns of different kinds. Some have been successful, but not uh, all of them. So I also think uh, that uh, we have to look at the children and, uh, and start uh, very uh, early. And I was wondering whether it couldn't be a good idea. I remember from, uh, from my time in the educational uh, system uh, that it was very modern to talk about uh, learning by doing. And it was a program, I think we've all been into that. Why not take learning by eating? Uh, because uh, this is really uh, the way you can make it, that you try it and you taste it and you figure out uh, how it is. When I started as uh, Lord Mayor some years uh, back, um, the public food was, uh, was really bad. We have no tradition in Denmark for uh, school food, as you have, for instance, in uh, Sweden and in the United States and in many other countries. It depends all on the families uh, by themselves. And I do not think that uh, we can leave it uh, for, for the families. I think we have to take it uh, as a um, political uh, problem and something we have to, to deal with. And just to be a little uh, practical, mm. because we had a lot of schools in uh, Copenhagen and uh, how could we manage? So we decided that in schools where there was a possibility to have a kitchen, you should rebuild and build up the kitchen so that the children could go there, work the food out, talk about it, be part of it, serve it for, uh, for their uh, comrades. Uh, but we couldn't do that in all schools. So uh, on the other hand, we also created a system which we call EAT, where we uh, serve and could serve uh, prepared food. That is not at all as good, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> And we have had a um, ambition of uh, really uh, trying to uh, get uh, organic uh, food. So uh, we have a percentage of 90% uh, uh, nowadays by serving organic food. And what's good about organic food also is that it's nearly almost local because you don't have the long uh, transport. Uh, you can get it uh, and uh, and you can, uh, and you can uh, serve it. So I think uh, that uh, changing uh, the attitudes of the children, talking to the children, inspire the children, as uh, Miguel was uh, saying, has really been, uh, been very uh, important. Uh, so I think that what we have to deal with is to create a better food culture for the next generation. Um, we could like to see many people change their habits, but uh, it's hard, it's difficult to achieve, but we could start. And I think we need to give priority to the children and also to let them work every now and then. We've done that in Copenhagen with chefs, because I really agree to what was said in, um, in the first uh, session uh, we had, that they admire the chefs, and the chefs has a knowledge which you couldn't easily get without having that kind of uh, education. So doing this as a political uh, project and giving priority to the children, I think there are possibilities. Thank you. <laughs>